In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a split polygon tool. To begin, we're going to go to the polygons menu set, then go to edit mesh, split polygon tool. I also want to open the tool settings, so I'll open the tool settings from the interface. Or I could go back to the tool and click on the options box. Now that the tool settings are open and already have been reset to the defaults, I'll select our object and begin slicing it. To use this tool, you can go from edge to edge and create a line or an edge between those two edges. You can also snap to the corners. To finish it, press enter or Q on your keyboard. I'll undo that and we'll begin explaining the settings. To begin with, we have this divisions option. This is how many vortexes it will add between the first edge and the last edge that was clicked. So if I was to set it to 4, it will create 4 edges along this line. Press enter, and there they are. Now, the second option is smoothing angle. This is just a normal smoothing angle. It works like any other smoothing angle property in Maya. 0 means the edge will be hard, and 180, it will be completely soft. Now, I'm going to reset this. The option split only from edges means that when we click, we cannot click on this face here and create a vortex here. We have to click on another edge. But, if we were to undo that and uncheck this option, we can now create vortexes on top of a face and then finish it on an edge. You always have to finish on an edge or a corner. There we go. I'll undo that and explain the next setting. Number of points. Well, actually, we'll get to that later. I'll recheck this and go to the next setting. Using snapping points along edges. Now, we really can't see it right now, but when I click and drag, that little dot will snap when it gets to the center. That's because it's snapping right now to the midpoint. And it'll also snap when I get to a corner. This is handy when you need when accuracy is important. So, to increase the snapping effect, we can increase the tolerance. So by increasing the snapping tolerance to say 100, the snapping effect is very obvious. Now, this number of points, that's how many points it will be along this edge that it can snap to. So if I was to set it to 3, it will divide this up 3 times and provide me 3 snapping points. Also, it will continue to snap to the corners. Thanks for watching this tutorial.